Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given exponential equation as you can see. So we got 4 power x plus 1 plus 4 power 3 minus x equal to 257 and we are going to solve for x. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. Here let's focus on this 4 power x plus 1 and 4 power 3 minus x. So we can write them as 4 power x times 4 power 1 plus likewise 4 power 3 times 4 power negative x equal to 257 by using this product rule and now we can write this 4 power 1 as 4 I'm going to write down first times 4 power x and then plus this 4 power 3 could be written as 4 times 4 times 4 is 64 times I can write this 4 power negative x I'm gonna make it a positive exponent I can write this one as 4 power x equal to 257 and now let's focus on this 4 power x and 4 power x right up here let me go ahead and copy it down over here and here this 4 could be written as 2 power 2 and then this power x and this could be written as 2 power x and then power 2 by using this power rule. So therefore I am going to replace this 4 power x and this 4 power x by this 2 power x and then power 2. So therefore I am going to write down 4 times 2 power x and then power 2 plus 64 times 1 over 2 power x and then power 2 equals to 257. Now let me go ahead and make a substitution. I'm going to say let 2 power x equals to y. So that means wherever we see 2 power x and 2 power x, I'm going to replace by y. So therefore our above equation is going to become simply 4 times y square plus 64 times 1 over y square equals to 257. Now let me go ahead and remove this fraction. I am going to multiply across the board by y square on this side, y square over here and y square over here across the board. So we can see we got this one as 4 times y square times y square is going to become y power 4. Here this y square and y square is gone. So we got 64 equal to 257 y square. Let me move this quantity on the left hand side so we got 4 y power 4 minus 257 y square plus 64 equal to 0 and here in this next step I wrote down y power 4 as y square and then power 2 and in this next step let me go ahead and make a substitution let me say let uh, u equal to y square to make our job simpler. So this way wherever we see y square, y square I'm going to replace it by u. So therefore our this equation is going to become simply 4 u square minus 257 u plus 64 equal to 0. And we can see that this is a quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by using a quadratic formula. And here is our quadratic formula that we will be using. And now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this quadratic formula. We know our A is 4, B is negative 257 and C is 64. So we got U equal to negative and then B is negative 257. 
7 plus r minus the square root of negative 257 and then square minus 4 times a is 4 and c is 64 divided by everything is divided by 2 times 4 and after simplifying all those basic steps we got u equals to 257 plus r minus 255 divided by 8 now let's go ahead and split these numbers along this positive and negative sign so therefore i can write u equal to 257 plus 255 divided by 8 and the other number is u equal to 257 minus 255 divided by 8. And now if we add these two numbers, 257 plus 255, we get 512 divided by 8. That means our u value turns out to be 64. So that's one of the value. And if we subtract these numbers, we are going to get u equals to 2 divided by 8. And if we reduce this thing, so u value turns out to be 1 over 4. So this is our another value of u. So we got two values of u, 64 and 1 fourth. And now we know that u is equal to y square. Let me go ahead and plug it back over here. So I can write y square equal to 64. Let me go ahead and take the square root on both sides. So y turns out to be positive or negative 8. So these are our two values, positive or negative 8. And here we are going to do the same thing for u on this side. So u is same as y square equal to 1 over 4. Let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides. So we got simply y equal to positive or negative 1 over 2. So this is another value of y which is positive or negative 1 over 2. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and pick y equals to positive 8 value. That's our case number 1. And we know that our y equals to 2 power x. Here I'm going to replace that one. I can write 2 power x equal to 8. So 2 power x, 8 could be written as 2 power 3. And we can see as long as our bases are same, we can equate our exponents. So therefore, our exponent x equals to 3. So our solution x turns out to be 3. So therefore, for our case number 1, our value for x turns out to be 3. And here's our case number 2. This time we are going to pick y equals to negative 8 value. And we know that y equals to 2 power x. So I'm going to replace y by 2 power x equals to negative 8. And now we can see that 2 power x equal to negative 8 is a false statement. It's impossible. So therefore, we are going to reject this statement. So there's no solution for this case. And here's our case number 3. This time we are going to pick y equals to positive 1 over 2 value. And we know that y equals to 2 power x. Let's go ahead and replace y by 2 power x equals to 1 over 2. And now 1 over 2 could be written as 2 power negative 1 on the right hand side. And we got 2 power x on the left hand side. And we can see that we got the same basis on both sides. As long as these bases are same, we can equate their exponents. So therefore, our x value turns out to be negative 1. So we got x equal to negative 1 value. Or for this case, our value of x turns out to be negative 1. 
And here's our case number four. This time we are going to pick y equals to negative one over two. And we know our y equals to two power x. So I'm gonna replace y by two power x equal to negative one over two. Now we can see that two power x cannot be equal to negative number. So therefore this is a false statement. Therefore we are going to reject this statement. So there's no solution for this case. So thus our solution turns out to be x equal to negative one and the other solution is x equal to three. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.